In this video, we're gonna share 30 great life principles that you need to hear as an adult. Hopefully, some of these help you out. Yeah, we pulled these off Reddit. I think that the reason why they're more suited for an adult is because sometimes you're gonna need a certain amount of repetitions in life to even understand these. Anyway, let's get into number one, Andrew. Not everyone in this life is gonna gel with you and there might not even be a good explanation or rationale for why they don't like you. Right, I think a lot of the time, sometimes you meet someone, have a bad interaction or just get a sense that, hey, I don't, this person doesn't like me. what did I do to them? What did I do to them? How come that person doesn't like me? And like, sometimes, as weird as it is, the answer is just, you didn't really do anything. Yeah. Or they misinterpreted something. Or, or it says more about them than it says about you. And I know that in the past, when other YouTubers even used to hate on us or like say negative things about them, uh, us, when we never said anything negative about them, I used to like sort of care a little bit more than I do now because it says sometimes people will be angry for their own reasons. Taking their emotional poison is a choice. Yeah. So I would say sometimes you replay the game footage and be like, did I do anything to that person? And you just think about it for a few minutes. And if you didn't, then you just move on with life. Yep. Listen, guys, if someone's toxic, let them be toxic by themselves. The worst thing you could do is let their toxins infect you. Point number two, pay the minute, uh, pay a bill the minute that you get it. You will not remember to do it later. And this, the psychological thinking behind this, Andrew, is because people don't want to pay bills. So if you don't pay the bill right when it's due, you'll just put it off. And then, of course, only more bad things will happen. Yes, building this habit of putting off a bill as long as possible because you don't want to pay it is kind of stupid. It's only going to build more bad habits. I get the feeling of not wanting to pay bills. I get it. But you have to do it. They're not going to forget about it. The company is more organized than you are. So they're going to remember, and then they're going to hit you with a late fee. So just pay it, get it over with, and move on. And a, a way of thinking about it, too, is like, did I enjoy this service that I, you know, that this bill is for, or this invoice is for? Mm. If I extracted the value from it, I should enjoy to pay it because that's how transactions and the economy works. Right. You give me a service, I give you monetary value. It's all good because the whole thing is rolling. The, the machine needs to be uh, oiled from all aspects. Another thing you can do is actually just at least organize it. Get a mm. bill organizer. I got uh, some photos right here. Point number three, uh, sometimes you will hit that older age where nothing really matters except the relationships that you build and foster along the way. Mm. Do you think that this is a realization that more and more people uh, realize as they get older? Because obviously when you're younger, sometimes you wanna get flashy material items to stunt and flex on everybody to feel elevated. Yeah, I think a lot of the reason why a lot of people get flashy items, and I think, I feel like I was even more into that stuff years ago because you're trying to gain status or you think it's going to help you network or you think it's going to attract people maybe or attract women right attract women right like or just yeah people in general to you and just like have this perceived value and uh i think after you become an adult and you've built your own value and you understand yourself then yes those things matter a lot less. I don't want to say 0%, but they matter a lot less, man. Right. I was going to say for myself, I even care less about like cars and watches and cigars. Not that I ever was like 10 out of 10 in any of those things, but I care about them less. But I do realize to, to provide a caveat, some people do use like Porsche clubs and watch collector clubs as a way to build more relationships. Right. So it, it just depends on the reason why you're doing things. Two people can do the same thing, but with completely different agendas, incentives, and motivations. Mm. Um, but plus, nowadays, there's a lot more different ways you can build community than the old world ways. Point number four, trying to avoid suffering just causes even more suffering than if you had just faced the thing head on. Yeah, this is a tough thing in life, but uh, sometimes the uh, tough decision is just... Uh face it straight up and go through it. Right. You know, there's a theory, Andrew, that the, it had the Titanic went straight through the iceberg. It could have either broken through or at least just stopped the Titanic rather than trying to scrape on the side of the Titanic and the whole ship's th sinking. Right. Well, they weren't going to know. I mean, who they probably thought it could take the hit, whatever hit that uh, it took. But yes, you never know. Somebody said, look at suffering like a credit card. You're going to pay it eventually with interest if you don't pay it off right away. Mm. 
Point number five, Andrew, you should let a steak rest five to 15 minutes after it's done cooking. It's really important. And by the way, the stuff on the side of it is not blood. It's a protein that looks like blood called myoglobin. Sometimes uh, letting things cool down is good but yeah i mean for steaks and meats yes this but, is but a, would a you agree though andrew in a way if we were to relate it to life people are impatient and they just cut into the steak immediately right 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 point number six maybe if you just wait a little longer for things they get better point number six people are not thinking about you as much as you think it's called the spotlight effect you think because you're the main character of your own life that you're the main character of everybody's life yes i do think a lot of people are not thinking about you in the same way you think they are. If you're the type of person to overthink things, you might run through your head and be like, this person's thinking this about me. This person's thinking this about me. There's a, there's a good chance they're not. Uh, point number seven, prioritize self-care. Once you hit 30, you really got to spend like almost two hours a day on health. Mm, interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say that people need to invest a little bit of time in understanding where their body is at. Mm. and taking action to that, you know? But I do think that there's a lot of simple remedies, but you can get more complicated and soup up your body if you want. But essentially, there's like, you know, you know the simple principles of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, obviously everything, there's, uh, you know, cryo chambers, light therapy, there's super advanced stuff, but it could even just be aesthetic. Like go and get a manicure, a pedicure, go get a massage. You know, there's like a hundred things out there that people who aren't feeling the best about themselves could try out and at least some of those hundred things is gonna help you out point number eight um we are a lot more like toddlers than we think for example you feel a lot less crappy when you're hydrated fed rested and you've already taken a poop mm. so because a lot of people like sometimes they're like they hate their life you know how and we have some nephews one guy's in a horrible mood he just eats something drinks something uh takes a poop He's all better. Yeah, man. Moods are funny because they're just emotions, and emotions can be swung by taking a rest, taking a poop, drinking something, eating something delicious. <laughs> like, all these things can affect your mood. So, in a way, your mood is, like, in a way, so... <laughs> It's so, changeable. Yeah, yeah, it's so malleable. Yeah. But I think people read into their mood too much. They're like, I'm feeling bad. I'm jumping off a building. And right. you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's uh, some other stuff you could do yeah, here. Yeah, maybe you just need to treat yourself. Yeah, maybe just get a massage and some electrolytes. Uh, point number nine, uh, love only really works when it's mutual. And that's why people love dogs so much because dogs will always reciprocate the love that you give a dog. Ah, some dogs, though, they're not that smart. So if you let them off the leash too young, they might not come back. That's true. Like young dogs, they, they have to be like old enough. You got to have raised them long enough. But yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah, I mean, for sure. Love, uh, I, I could see that working. I'm not like a guru on this, but it makes sense. Well, that. a lot of dudes in uh, middle school or high school, Andrew, they love their crush and their crush does not love them back. Yes. I I'll say this. There's different types of love, though. Unconditional, conditional. I think conditional love is still love because if you violate somebody's conditions, then they don't love you anymore. It makes sense. Uh, point number 10, know when to shut up. Because they was this guy was saying a lot of people are chatty patties and they just talking too much, talking themselves into a knot when they didn't even need to do that. Yeah, I definitely think that people don't need to talk about other people. Like, unless if you think that what your friend told you probably shouldn't get out there then you don't need to like share all the information with everyone it's true like you don't have to be fully transparent with everyone right 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 i think sometimes people think that withholding information is lying that's just actually just being cautious withholding information also by the way guys i think that asian kids oftentimes might not talk enough but you got to know what are the right topics to talk about uh th there's this whole concept called goldilocks right you know how when she had the porridge that was too cold too hot just right there's a just right zone it's like holding a dove not too tight not too loose guys point number 11 stop being a people pleaser i had to look up what that was i didn't even know what it was a people pleaser is someone who consistently tries to please others even at their own expense mm. um i would just call this a deek rider Oh. Being a deke, right? I mean, you know, depending on what world you come from. Right.
Point number 12, wash your hands the first thing you do when you get home. Maybe go to the bathroom, even take a shower, especially if you've been out all day. Oh, uh, definitely wash your hands. Uh, definitely there's, uh, especially if you live in the city, you grabbed a lot of different doorknobs, door handles, railing. Breathed on. You breathed on. You uh, touched your the bottom of your pants that sat on this thing. So definitely wash your hands when you get home. Yeah, I would say, man, I just change into basketball shorts, oversized airism tee. You your know inside clothes versus outside clothes. Number 13, full body stretch two to three times a week for a minimum of 15 minutes it will actually have a bigger impact than you think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, stretching is something that a lot of people need to do more of because we're a lot, oftentimes we're crouched over our computer or crouched over our phone nowadays and people are not walking around mm -hmm. as much to work. So uh, you, it's definitely something that you have to do. There's you have this to uh, thin layer of fibers, Andrew, that overlays your muscles called a fascia. You got to stretch your fascia. Even if your muscles are stretched, it doesn't mean you stretch your fascia, even though they're connected. Uh, I love stretch cages, but not everybody has access, obviously, to a commercial gym with the stretch cages. Uh, number 14, Andrew, popularity in high school or even on social media platforms, none of it really matters. It is a temporary flex of the moment. Mm. Yeah, I think that people are prisoners of the moment. And one of the interesting things is about uh, being a prisoner of the moment on the apps, Andrew, popularity on one app doesn't even mean you're popular on another app. Yeah, and I think the most, the funniest thing is like somebody will have like very no followers, right? And then they'll have one video hit it big, get like a million impressions on like Instagram reels. And then people will assume because this person got a million hit video that they're famous or that they're making a lot of money. And actually, it's not true. Right. It's just not true. And not not yet. They got to do it consistently. And, and I think the weird thing, and that's, this is why high school-minded people and people in high school love social media so much, is people like hyper-tiny fishbowls with a strict hierarchy because actual real life is super complicated to understand. Point number 15, ignore people who think that other people in the universe literally rotate around them like the sun. Mm. Oh, man. I'll tell you this, man. Hey, listen, guys, don't roast me. A lot of only childs sometimes, set, and in the Chinese community, they can be like this. They think like everybody else in the universe is like almost like a role player to their main character. Yeah. 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 And, and this is uh, some of these people, what I feel like is that they're just so that person so that they have to end up morphing a friend group that buys into it. But those type of people are never pleasant to be around. But some people I've seen those type of narcissistic people still kind of be the head of a friend group if the friend group, if that person somehow adds enough value to the rest of the Usually friends. a hot, rich girl. Yeah. Well, from what I've seen, guys, point number 16, it's okay to say, you know, I don't know the answer to that, but let me get back to you. Mm -hmm. That is a, dude, I'll tell you that, that is a good answer, but it only works if you actually want to get back to somebody if you want to be a reliable person within an industry but otherwise sometimes that works on just brushing people off point number 17 always get a second opinion from doctors because a lot of people they don't really know that much about health so the one thing that their first doctor or specialist tells them they just go with it mm -hmm. yeah i think that this is really key because when i was in seattle a lot of the doctors are really into holistic medicine and they don't want to do things. Like they don't want to be like, all right, like, let's approve the surgery. But then when I moved to like in New York, I noticed all the doctors are like, yeah, let's get you that surgery right away. Let's get that fixed. Mm -hmm. So even different regions have different like medical philosophies. Right. And you, yeah, obviously if you want to get your issue attended to, you got to have people with a more aggressive medical philosophy. Point number 18, if your family is legitimately toxic, you can cut them out but you might want to keep the door open for them if they ever want to extend you an olive branch. Mm. Yeah, because I think that that's the key is like you cut somebody out of your life, Andrew, but you give them the chance to come back in through that door because they're family. Right. Point number 19, it's okay to express your emotions with your significant other even if you want to argue with them. And it's even okay to go to sleep angry because there was this theory, never go to sleep angry, but that could lead to a lot of senseless arguments that aren't even that big of a deal that if you just sleep on it, you just get over it anyway. Mm, yeah, it just depends on how you like to argue and uh, how you like to resolve conflicts. 
Spending and saving wisely is super inc uh, incredibly important. Learn to invest and manage your savings. Yeah, I think that it's a lot about spending wisely. You know, I think if you know something is gonna make you more productive, it has some salvage value, I think that you could look at, I think a lot of people, they'll spend on things that don't bring them the value and then they'll cheap out on things that could deliver them value. Mm. Number 21, your worth is not tied to your productivity uh, n necessarily. Like basically as an Asian, a lot of people really feel like their worth, their self-worth is tied to their productivity in their career arc. But it's like, it's not to say that you shouldn't be productive. You should be productive in life, but just know that your self-worth isn't tied to your productivity. Right. Number 22, pay attention to how you feel after spending time with someone. And if spending time with that person makes you feel bad, stop spending time with them. Yeah, I think this is okay to... Uh... If it's draining, essentially, if you feel very tired mm. and you need like a break after hanging out with someone for like just three hours, two hours, then that's not a great sign. Like you got to think about that. Like who right. is this person and why is it now? Maybe they're very smart and they're just talking your ear off and teaching you lots of things. And that also makes you tired in a different way. But if you're exhausted and you're like, you know what? I just don't want to see that person for like another month. I can only take this person once a month uh, and it's not enjoyable. Then, then you, you got to yeah, yeah, really yeah. think about I, I, I would look at it like cars. If you got a V8 engine and it's a, a huge uh, petroleum usage, what are you getting for it? So make sure you're getting your money's worth at least. Because some people, they're not even offering value and they're still like an energy leech and then that's no good. Um, Please, they said exercising and avoiding fried foods actually can affect your mental health. Mm. So a lot of people, Andrew, know that eating really fatty things or carby things is not good for your body, but it actually, your body is linked to your mind. Mm. So I had to look it up, Andrew. Nutrition deficiencies, starches that convert into sugar, internal inflammation, micro gut biome, sugar spikes, insulin resistance. It can even affect the flow of your neurotransmitters, energy levels, all types of interrelated stuff. Yeah, got to eat healthy-ish. Point number 24, do not study industries that don't pay well. Literally, this guy was talking about how he was going into video game concept uh, art design, and now that field has been completely taken over by AI. Dang! Um, would you say that Asians don't usually have this issue because our parents are so hyper-conventional and practical in terms of making sure that we're either in like monetary you know like some sort of high functioning business or like stem fields yeah i feel like that video game design concept major might have been like a maybe like a vote is that a vocational college or one of those specialty colleges you know what i mean like i don't even know if they have that at most universities but yeah i mean guys let's be realistic when you're picking a major I know that you're 18 19 years old when you're picking this major which is funny david because people ask essentially you to pick your career when you're 18 or 19. They're like, what major do you want to go into? And this is going to be a major that does kind of dictate how much money you make, essentially, unless you make some hard pivots. Right, because there's different median, like just earning yeah. potential. Like already, if you, if you pick a psychology degree, there's nothing wrong with psychology degrees, okay? You can still make a lot of pivots into marketing and other things that make jobs that, that make money. But essentially, in psychology, you're not going to be making like, Six figures yes, right out yes, of college. Yes. All you have to do is take a look at macro industry statistics. For example, multimillionaires, Andrew, in America, only 4% are artists. What percentage of multimillionaires were psychologists? Right. <clears throat> Point number 25, you don't have to spend all your time making others happy. Yeah. Yeah, guys, what, what value do you derive from making people happy? What does it do for your life? Maybe it energizes you and that's good, right? Mm -hmm. There's a chance. <clears throat> Some people are like, Yo, I just love seeing people. I It makes me happy to see them happy, right? Some people are truly like that. But if you're not, and that's okay if you're not like that, you have to understand you do what obligation do you have to this person? Are they your family? Right. Is it your wife, your husband? Is it somebody, your parents whom you owe a lot to, right? Did the parents who took care of you and paid for everything throughout your life? 
Yeah, you might feel some obligation then, but like you have to think about what is your obligation to this person. Right, and I think the key is too, especially for Asian kids that are watching this, you can make your parents in happy in ways that they didn't even predict, even if you went and did something else with your life that was more unorthodox that they don't approve of. It doesn't mean that it's just like all is lost, now it's time to get tattooed on your face and go do a bunch of substances. You know what I mean? It's just not an all or nothing equation. You just gotta analyze it in a way that nobody's ever taught you to analyze it prior. Point number 26, um, focus on the things that bring you joy and try to do those things as much as you can. Andrew, would you say that boxing brings you joy? Yeah, I think that you have to find the things that release something in you that are healthy for you. And especially if that's sports or exercise or something social um, that doesn't take detriment on your body, uh, Obviously, sports are social as well. Um, maybe like a chess club or like a book club would be a little bit more like, uh, I guess, on the non-exercise but still joyful way. But that's like mental and social still. Yeah, so I mean, for me, I love playing basketball outside. Like five on five, like smaller court, outdoor street ball. So fun. Uh, like I would just do it every day if I could, if there was a good run and it was good weather. Point number 27 uh, this is a, just another smaller tip. Somebody said, use safety razors over multi-blade razors. Multi-blade razors were literally invented just to make money. There's a huge movement right now, Andrew, for safety blades only, which is single blade razors. Mm. Yeah, that, I didn't even know about that. that this is an actual movement on the internet. Point number 28. How learn how to invest at an early age, learn the difference between assets and liabilities, and please just start to buy assets and less liabilities. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think the big problem with a lot of investing advice on the internet, Andrew, is that it's good, but it's so complicated. It's already getting into like all these tax deductions and Roth IRA stuff off the bat, where it's almost like so overly complicated, a lot of people shut their mind off to it. Right. There needs to be a better way, a more simplistic way with like different analogies to explain it to people. Sure. Cause I mean, it's almost like, uh, you know, health is as easy as like swap that Frappuccino for co plain cold brew, track your steps, track your calorie intake, lift three times a week. But then how come when somebody's trying to explain nutrition and working out to somebody, it's like they need like a hundred pages. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I think that sometimes that just really like just goes over people's heads, you know? Like, I always just tell people, man, when it comes to basketball shoes, if you're skinny, get the Jaws, get the Kobe's. If you're, like, middle tier, get the LeBron 20, 21s, get the KD's. And if you're a wide footer, get the Jordans. Like, it's pretty easy. You don't need, like, a thousand pages to explain, like, how to do things. Uh, you can get that granular, but you don't need to. Point 29, it's not my job to fix other people. Wow. Um, I'll tell you this, Andrew, we had a distant relative, like send, uh, like, you know, one of their kids to come stay with us for a little bit to try to like, see if we could help them find their motivation in life or, you know what I mean? Like whip them into shape. And then I kind of realized, I was like, you know, you guys raise, you know, if you raise your kid a certain way for like 17, 18, 19 years of their life, nobody can go and like fix them in a boot camp. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that not true? Like, no, it's not your job to fix anybody else. Right. Like, there's so many things. If it takes a village to raise a child, it took a village to raise a child the wrong way too. Mm. Point number 30, know the situations where the shortcut method still gets the job done and is still acceptable. For example, Andrew, I always say floss picks, hack squat machines, Crocs, audiobooks, foldable helmets. Do I think an audiobook is better than reading a real book, Andrew? Do I think a floss pick is better than actually sticking your hands in your mouth? and doing that little U-shape around mm -hmm. the tooth? Probably not. But would you say, Andrew, that they're better than nothing? Yeah, it's better than you not doing it. That is for sure. So you kind of got to know the areas in life where it's like the shortcut, shortcut cheek hack method is still going to give you like 60, 70, 80% good enough. Mm. Anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think of those 30 life tips in the comments section below. Like I said, this is pulled from thousands and thousands of people on the internet. And I think the reason why it's important on our channel to do these micro life tips is because we talk about so much macro stuff that uh, sometimes it feels like it could be outside of your control because it's so bird's eye top down. These things you can change for your life today. And then maybe after you change your life, you want to change somebody else's life. Until next time, we the Hop Hop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.